Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for March 8th, 2012, a Nasdaq 10-day chart. The rally off the lows could either be the start of an upper two minimum, or this could be an upper four. And this would be one, two, three, four. We got one, two, three, four, five down. And um, we could retrace back to 29.62 in the Nasdaq. But if this is one, two, three, four, five, we drop a gap down in the fifth wave, and then reverse back to 29.62. So in either case, I'm expecting a reversal to, to test a 0.6% retracement around 29.62 uh, for the Dow. Same thing. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, and a 4 for a 5 down. Or this could be the start of uh, an upper 2. An upper 2 will retrace back to as high as 12,960 in the Dow. That'd be 0.618 of the drop from uh, 13,055 to 12,740. Uh, if it ends up, if we end up um, taking out, okay, the only way that I, I'd be convinced that this is a fourth wave bottom, well, I'm, I'm convinced right now that it is a fourth wave bottom, but just in case this turns to fifth wave down, and my alternate, my alternate scenarios uh, would be a fifth wave down, but um, if, if this truly was a fourth wave bottom, uh, we'd take out at least 0.786 around 13,000. So again, thirteen thousand is going to be uh, going to be resistance again, um, or we break right through it and then take out thirteen thousand fifty five, setting up a third wave. But uh, in order for me to be convinced completely, one hundred percent that um, without an alternate, that this is um, the end of the of, a, of the downtrend in the past uh, five days, we got to take out thirteen thousand around point seven eight six of the upside. Yeah, I do believe that this is a fourth wave bottom. Because I mean, look at uh, the index. NDX is a six month chart. There's a, we have a morning star formation. It wasn't, it wasn't quite the full white candle, but it's it enough to be a gap down candle hammer, and a uh, possible morning star formation. So we need to follow through to the upside to uh, look at the ten day chart here in NDX. NDX was uh, the outperformer today, as usual. Whoops. Uh, because it got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this is at least number 2. So number 2 would um, retrace to around 26 to 30 to the upside. So if NDX retraces a full 0.618 to the upside, it would be 26.30. And uh, 0.76 would be around 26.37. For the S&P, we're going to take out 13,000. Or it could be the start of a number 2 minimum. Uh, number two, a target is uh, 1367, or the previous uh, perceived uh, up at four. Around 1367 would be 0.618. But in order for me, for me to be convinced 100% um, that this is the end of the uh, the recent downtrend, um, we would need to take at least 1372 to the upside, around 0.786. Yeah, 0.786 is, is the ma seems to be a magic number these days, and it's 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 been resistance, like heavy resistance, or it's been a breakout. And um, you can go right into 0.786 and then drop, and then, or get get to 0.786 and then and break out into a three. So basically, in order for me to be convinced that uh, we're 100 percent out of this, I'm I'm 70 percent certain this is the end of it. But to be 100 percent certain that that this is the end of it, uh, again 1372 has got to be taken out. That's a wrap.